Hello, the title of my poster is Topological Classification of Submersion Functions, that is a work in collaboration with Francisco Brown. We say that two functions f and g from R2 to R are topologically equivalent if there exist homeomorphisms h from R2 to R2 and l from R to R such that this diagram is commutative. Two regular foliations, F1 and F2, are topologically equivalent if there is a homeomorphism H of R2 onto itself carrying its leaf of F1 onto a leaf of F2. In the case when H and L are orientation preserving homeomorphisms, then we say that the functions F and G and respectively the foliations F1 and F2 are all topologically equivalent. If F and G are, are two submersion functions, then as we know, F and G define regular foliation of R2, whose leaves are the connected component of the level set of F and G respectively. If F and G are topologically equivalent, then the respective regular foliation of them are topologically equivalent. In fact, this implication is also true for all topologically equivalent, but the converse is not true even in the polynomial case. So, the main objective of this work is to introduce the class of linear-like submersion functions and provide conditions for the validity of the converse implication for functions inside this class. We say that P is a linear-like submersion function if P is a submersion of the form like this, where R and X are C infinity real functions. In the case when the zero set of S is finite, then we say that P is a finite linear-like submersion. Now some preliminaries. To leave L1 and L2 of a, of a regular foliation F in the plane are inseparable before any cross sections sigma1 and sigma2 through L1 and L2 respectively, there is another leaf L3 intersecting sigma1 and sigma2. We say that a leaf L is a separatrix if it leaves in the closure of the set of inseparable leaves. Each connected component of the complement of the set of separatrices of F will be called a canonical region. A cordial relation of a triple of three different leaves is one of the five different ways in which, in which they can divide the plane. In the first three cases here, one leaf separates the other one. And in the second two cases here, they define an a positive and a negative cycle respectively. Given two subsets U and V of leaf of two regular foliations of the plane, we say that they are isomorphic if there is an abjection G between them such that for any triple of different leaf in U, the cordial relation of them and the image by in the image by G are the same. In the case when the sign of the cycles are reversed by G, then we say that U and V are anisomorphic. A separatrix configuration of a given regular foliation F if the set of separatrices together with one leaf choose in each canonical region. In fact, we have that the separatrice configuration is a complete topological invariant. In fact, we have that two regular foliations, F1 and F2, are all topologically equivalent if and only if the separatrix configuration of them are isomorphic and they are topologically equivalent if and only if the separatrix configurations are isomorphic or antisomorphic. 
The description of the regular foliation given by a linear like summation P is as follows. From now on, VA will be denoted the vertical straight line X equal to A, A is a real value. And by ZP, the set of zeros of X. So the complementary set of ZP with respect R is a disjoint countable many union of open intervals AI, BI. So for each real C, the level set LC of P is given by the disjoint union of these two sets here. The first one is the graphic of a function in C, whose expression is this, and the second one is a straight line given by this set. So the leaf of the foliation given by P are completely described as being of two types. In each no-empty strip, there exists exactly one connect component of LC given by the graphic of the function NC, that is a curve, a straight to this interval here, for any real C. And for each X in ZP, the vertical straight line VX is a connected component of LC and C is the value of R in X. So we prove that letting C be the value assumed by P in VAI, then the graphic of the function in C defined in this interval is inseparable to VAI. Respectively, if we consider the straight line VBI. And the collection of the above leaves are the inseparable leaves of the foliation. So, according to these propositions, we have the separatist configuration of the, the regular foliation given by P in each no empty strip like this. For example, if we consider this strip, then the separatist configuration is this, and in this other strip, the separatist configuration is this. And the other, in, in the other strips, the separatist configurations are these four or these other two ones. In all the cases, the inseparable leaf are the thick leaf. The bifurcation set of a finer linear like summation P is the set of denoted by BP, and we prove that the set is equal to the values of R in each zeros of X. And our main results are the following. We prove that two finer linear like summations P and Q are all topological equivalent if and only if their bifurcation sets are empty or the following condition holds. The first one says that the regular foliation given by P and Q respectively are all topologically equivalent, and the second condition says that there is an increasing bijection sigma between the bifurcation sets such that this condition holds for each real C, that is a bifurcation value of Q and H is an uh, O equivalent homeomorphism between the regular foliations given by P and Q respectively. In the case when the bifurcation set of P is a singleton, therefore the receipts a real value M that is not a bifurcation value of P and an extension of sigma to an increasing bijection sigma bar like this, such that this condition holds. And we have to the following colorado. We prove that two finer linear like submersions P and Q are topologically equivalent if and only if their bifurcation sets are empty or the following conditions holds. The 
first conditions say that the respective regular foliations of P and Q are topologically equivalent, and the second condition says, says that there is a monotonous bijection sigma between the bifurcation set of, of P and Q respectively, such that this condition holds for each uh, bifurcation value of Q and H is an equivalent homeomorphism between their uh, regular foliation of P and Q. So according to the last corollary, we can prove that these uh, finer linear-like summations P and Q given by these are now topologically equivalent. In fact, suppose that P and Q are topologically equivalent. Then, according to the last corollary, the conditions A and B must be satisfied. In fact, the conditions A is satisfied because the separatist configuration of the foliation given by P, that is it, and the separatist configuration given by the regular foliation of Q, that is other ones here, are isomorphic. So the regular foliations of uh, P and Q respectively are all topologically equivalent. But the existence of a monotonous bijection sigma between the bifurcation set of P and Q respectively such that this condition holds for any bifurcation value of Q and H an equivalence homeomorphism between the regular, the, the, the regular foliations of P and Q respectively will be a contradiction because it implies that H must keep in the colors in the separatist configuration of P and Q respectively and then H doesn't preserve chordal relation. So this is a contradiction and so the, the functions P and Q are not topologically equivalent. So these are some reference of our work and thank you for your attention.